We continue our tutorials on Microsoft Office Word by taking a look at the tabs and commands available to use with our documents. In our last tutorial we looked at the File tab where we open, save and print our document. We also looked at the Home tab where our font, paragraph and styles are available. Now before we move on from here I just want to show you something very useful. If we move our mouse or cursor over a command and leave it not only will it tell us what that command does, but it will also show us how to use that command by using our keyboard if we had a problem with our mouse. Next to the Home tab we have our Insert tab. From here we can insert things into our document. Now don't worry about how we do this for the time being. We will gradually introduce commands in our later tutorials. But from here we can add a picture which we've already spoken about art, hyperlinks, headers, footers and many more things to give us a professional look on our document. Now it's important to understand that Word is used by millions of people all over the world creating all sorts of documents from letters and flyers to legal documents and company reports and even books so many commands you may never use. Next to the Insert tab we have our Page Layout. From here we can change the themes, the margins, the columns, introduce watermarks and all our spacing. Moving on we have our References tab. Here we can add a table of contents, insert footnotes, citations, and much more. From the mailings tab we can create envelopes and labels and we can use mail merge. This is where we can select many recipients to receive the same letter. On our review tab we can check our spelling, our word count and look up a thesaurus. From the view tab we can change the way we look at our document. So there are many different commands available to us in Word and as we go through our tutorials we'll get to use some of the common ones to show you exactly how they work. Thanks very much.